getting your beads. So you brought your needle up from the back. Yes. And you're doing six beads, or are you kind of seeing how that fits? I think she's suggesting six for uniformity. Okay. I think that first one ended up being seven just because the one bead I grabbed was so skinny. Okay. So this one, again, goes right up to that center really well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta grab the needle. You go down. Then you go up in the middle of the six. Okay, then now you're tacking those in place. Go yes. up in the middle of the three and three. And then, and then you go through and then you go back down again. So you're going through three of the beads. Yep. And then going back down again. Yes. Okay, so we got five, nine, twelve. Okay, there's twelve. So then with your thumb, you mm -hmm. want to kind of hold, hold it. it and then come back with your needle on the line. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to bring your needle down, right? That oh, so just to tack down mm -hmm. the thread. Okay. Right. But then you're, see, you're, mm -hmm. you're forming so it with your thumb. Yep. And you want to come in from the inside and go out. Okay. See? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. 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 Yeah. Make sure you pull tight. See how nice that looks? Yeah. So now you're going to only do 12 on every single one of them. Even okay. though it may okay. look bigger, it's not really. It's going to be all the same size. Okay. And then That's if it doesn't fit, go all the way up, when you're beating in there, it's going to anyway. Okay. More than that? No, that's good. Now you're going to bring your needle up on the line. Okay. Now you're going to do the rate. Seven beads. 35 mask. Look at really? Me. Yeah. But I sent them to all my, my kids, you know, they're oh. nurses, policemen, and you know. So. Yeah. So you're going to go only about a quarter inch, okay? Oh, okay. And then go through. See how it's standing up? Yeah. You're going to come through the middle of that. Okay. On the outside. Outside, okay. Come yep. up in the middle, put seven more on. Okay, and just keep going around you're, like but that? Not a quarter inch because you're going to only go oh. about that one next. Okay? Okay, so At, like, like an, an eighth. Yes. Mm -hmm. To start a quarter inch, then, then an eighth. Oh, okay. Because your first one is your starter. And you always stay on the outside with your thread. And on the outside, okay. Yep. See how it comes. Yeah. See how it comes up. <laughs> now you're gonna come up next to that first one that ended. You can come up next to it. That's about right there. Mm -hmm. Does that look right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you pull tight. You want your. You don't want your yeah. stuff to move around. Okay.
Now you want to tie your tie your knot in the back. I always do that too. Start each petal, you go start about like that. Mm -hmm. Bring your needle up there. Eight, mm -hmm. seven, seven. Mm -hmm. three, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go up to the tip. You come up. You don't want to go across that line. You're going to go this to that side, this back and forth. So you're going to come up right behind it. But don't cross that line, okay? okay. This time we're going to do eight. Okay. Eight. Over there. And then you're going to come up a little below that. Okay. okay. Eight. Okay, see that? Oh yeah. Now we're gonna come up on this side. On the other side of it? It's like just on the opposite how far I went up with uh -huh. okay. you. Don't measure and bring your needle back this far because your your bead is bigger. Yep. So you're gonna come up further ahead. So eight. So eight. Okay, now we're coming up on this side. Okay. And eight. Okay. Now this side. Put nine on. Put nine on. Okay. So on these here, you know, say your flower. Okay. This is your petal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you start. Start. Yep. That's what I try and have people do. You know, start here yep. and then go up. Seven beads. Okay. And eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Nine. And you might be able to stay with nine. We'll see. Okay. At nine. Okay. So you're filling in that whole petal uh -huh. with uh -huh. raised, not just. And that's why people think there's beads underneath there or something, you know. But no, you're you're building it up. I see. Velvet's going to go on your heart piece. This is the, and it's going to matter what side you put it on. I want you to feel this. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, one side is rough and one side is soft. So this soft is going to be the front of your coin purse, okay? So we want the velvet on the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue stick. Much. Okay. You want to make sure you have a quarter inch everywhere 
around it. I usually cut it bigger so that trimming makes it a little easier. So then, I always cover this because it dries out. And then you want to have like about a quarter inch all the way around. It can be a little bit more. This is what I want you to do first today. So we can get this done. Okay, then you're going to go and slit it, right? You're not going to cut into the white, just maybe every... Would you say that's maybe two inches or one and a half no, inches? Less than, less than an inch. inch. Less than an inch, okay. You can make it wider if you want. In my corners, I kind of do a slant because then if you don't, then you know that material is doubled over and you don't want to double it. So then you just go around and go, doesn't matter. I, try, I usually do it just like this. And then also like when you have little, I'll do another little cut in there so it doesn't overlap. Mm -hmm. Okay, notch it. Yeah, notch it. So then you're going to take your glue stick again. And the glue. I try and get a little on the material too. And you're just going to turn it over. Oh, there. Nice. Okay. Oh, easy. See how it doesn't together when you notch that corner. I kind of hold it, and a lot of times, if it, you know, if you don't get any like on the material, like I try and get on the material, it seems to stick better. Just put it down with one finger and kind of hold it down with the other finger so that it sticks good. There, and see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure it matches up. Yeah. Okay. And so this is going to be that way. And then this one, the material is going to be back here. Like this, and the shiny part is going to be there. Okay. Okay, that's yours. Okay, but you ha always have to match up because when you're cutting, you know, it could be the other side of this. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Like this here, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that was this. Yeah. What if I cut it this way? You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. let's see. That. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, don't don't go past that orange bead. Okay, come up. Okay. Yep. Put on two beads. Not on both sides. No. Come up right, right behind it. Mm -hmm. Come up. 
Okay. Now turn. No, no, turn. Kind of like that way. And come up through that last B. This one? No, your last one. The one you put on last. Well, okay. There we go. He said, "Yeah." Oh, I should reduce it. Yep. Now pull it. Now put add another bead on. See, that's what that's what Just I was one. doing wrong. Just one. Okay. Now come from the back. Next to the, you know. Yes, exactly. Seven, And just turn your hand. Yeah. Okay. And then come to the back. here and tap down again, see? And then you got your double press again. Okay? There. So simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just simple. Instead of trying to redo it, and yeah. re it. Mm -hmm. These are all the greens that I brought for any kind of leaf, so she may want to do Something like this. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and that she can put her green. And then what's a real pretty stem instead of just six, you know, just straight? Yeah. You can do this mm -hmm. seven and go all the way down. Oh. You know what I mean? It, for, the, it, for the stem. Yeah. Like, and then your leaves are going to be just like the stitch that you did on your flower, where you do the Seven going to the top of the petal, like in showing mm -hmm. you how to do yeah. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What part? I always kind of put this part down here. Okay. And there's two pieces to each one. Mm -hmm. And they have smaller ones, but I kind of like the bigger ones because yeah. they kind of hold it close, and, mm -hmm. you know. And then we're going to put it right about here, and it's got the little plastic deal that you pull off. Okay, so you see how wide those are in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're just going to go with a kind of a sharp scissors, like make two holes. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, then for reinforcement. Because if you're going to use your coin purse a lot, or you give it to someone, they want to use it when they're opening it a lot. So then I poke two holes in here. Well, I guess. Poke two holes in here. And I put it on here. So that reinforces mm -hmm. your opening and closing it. And then I just kind of pull that over with this here, pull it over, and you press down on it. See where it's flat? Mm -hmm. Yep. There. I glue around here, mm -hmm. and then I glue just a little bit. 
So I put a little around there. Mm -hmm. And then around my stitches. Mm -hmm. Make sure you kind of get it even. You don't want mm -hmm. any overlap yet. <clears throat> And then what I do is what you did around your flower, and then you start and do two. I mean, you you could glue this shut if you wanted, but I think it looks nicer by putting this on. Back this side down or put a clip here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna do this. I need seven beads, nine to begin with, I'm sorry, nine and then seven. Four, six, seven, eight, I need a couple more. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go to the back and go all the way through. See? A nine on all the way through. So like a quarter quarter of an inch yeah. from there? Mm -hmm. See this magnet's on the thing. <laughs> and then you're gonna come back and go through two of the beads. Two of the beads. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna add seven. See you're gonna have that little edging going all the way around here. Oh there'll be like a little mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ruffle. Little yeah. Three, four. Five, six, seven. And then we're going to go just about a little bit. And then go to two. And that'll be her edging, and you're putting it together like this. So you want to make sure that. This is all even. I usually tack this, or not tack, but I glue down the edges of this side. Too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah.